Hey guys, what's up? Caden Cleveland here with the Oklahoma Senate, and you're joining us for another episode of Budget Breakdown with, with Senator Roger Thompson, our Appropriations Chairman here in the Senate. Um, Senator, last week we took the time, you, you kind of walked us through where all the House bills were coming over to the Senate side, yes, sir. Yes, sir. and now we, we kind of went through and looked at all the price tags on those bills. Right, right. So today, what uh, we're going to be doing is examining one of those uh, bills that we looked at last week. Is that correct? That, that, that's correct. Okay, got it. And uh, because many times what you see is not what you get. Absolutely. And right. uh, so we're trying to be transparent and, and give the full picture. And uh, so last week, whenever we were together, we talked about $1.162 billion of revenue that came over. Right. One of those was for the County Improvement of Roads and Bridges, or the CERB Fund. And this year, we have a bill for $30 million. Gotcha. And so a little bit of feedback. That's not very much money. No, we right. 77 counties. you got a lot of roads, and that's not a whole lot of money. Right. Gotcha. So I wanted to, us to examine a couple of things today. One is there are apportionments that are used. Okay. Now, apportionments... Are different from appropriations. Yes, absolutely. Appropriations will come out of the general revenue fund. This will come out of the general revenue fund. Okay. But apportionments happen, and uh, whenever somebody buys a product, so like if you buy diesel fuel, we collect a sixteen cents tax. Out of that tax, thirty five point five million dollars goes to the county highway fund. Okay. Out of that same tax, three point nine million go to the CERB fund. Okay, gotcha. And uh, same way, uh, gasoline tax. And these are 100% funds, and so this amount, all of it goes. Whereas if you deal with appropriations, only 95% right. really gets to go. So gotcha. here we are, so gasoline, and you can see the numbers, 89.8 uh, goes in the highway fund, and over here we got 6.8 that goes into the surf fund. Sure. Gotcha. And so when we look at the oil, would that be natural gas, or would that be oil itself, 47.1, 36.7. Motor vehicle tax is 48 uh, million that goes in the highway mm -hmm. fund. Special fuel, maybe like airplane fuel, something right. like hey, that, gotcha. and uh, two thousand three hundred forty-seven dollars, two hundred seven. So these numbers are from the Oklahoma Tax Commission. Okay, took it right off of their website, and so last year, just simply in the highway fund, two hundred fifty-eight million fifty-nine thousand four hundred fifteen dollars, and over here twenty million three hundred eighty-two thousand four hundred sixty-nine dollars. Gotcha. Now that's not the total picture. Those are just apportionments that happen automatically every time something buys. So gotcha. these numbers fluctuate based on consumers. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So whenever we look at the 30 million, it's going to be in addition to these numbers that we're talking over here. So all of a sudden we're up to 50 million, right? Just if we just add the portions. However, we look at the total transportation budget for FY19, and that is federal dollars that we're going to look at there, and that's also state dollars. And so that's that's the total budget. And so that's one billion seven hundred fifty-six million four hundred fifty-five thousand five hundred twenty-three dollars. I'm I'm glad you bring that up because mm -hmm. after our video last week, we got some questions. Uh, they they saw the county improvement roads and bridges, the thirty million. Yes. Like, Wait, is that all we give to our county roads? And exactly. Bridges? No, absolutely not. Right. It, it's it's all of this. It's the big picture of all these going into this transportation budget. That, that's, that's exactly right. right. That's exactly right. And and so when we look at the serve money here, right, we can take rest right over to here, and so. We're going to be doing this this year to that wow, particular okay. figure there, and we'll add up. And then, of course, they're still getting these figures here, and then your county highways are getting this one. And so, like in my district, State Highway, uh, there may be uh, 48 uh, we'll run through there. Okay. Uh, main arteries. Right. That we'll take care of these. We, these are actual this county roads. Gotcha. County bridges that need to be taken care of. And so we have the roads plan, which the Department of Transportation, that's an eight-year plan. Right. They have a five-year plan for county roads and bridges. Okay, gotcha. And so this money helps to be able to take care of the dirt roads, grading, whatever it's going to be that we're going to be out in the county. Generally, your county commissioners are working directly with this fund. Gotcha. So that makes right. complete sense. And way, it helps us just with a whole big picture of how the whole process that, That's exactly right. I love it. And so sometimes, as you said, you had questions, I had questions, and we said, so all you're going to give is $30 million. This right. is additional money to what the counties are already receiving to take care of their infrastructure. Wow. wow, love that. Okay, so a little update on where this bill is at. It's been through the appropriation yes. process and it's on its way to the Senate floor. Is that That's correct. correct. Gotcha. That's correct. Gotcha. It, it passed off of the House floor and titles on, yep. and I, it came out of my appropriation committee, titles on, which means it's a live round. Right. And we'll run it on the Senate floor with title on, it's a live round, and we'll pass it, and hopefully the governor will sign it. Love it, love it. Senator, thank you for just explaining this to us and breaking down 
what what exactly the CERB fund looks like, what that uh, that thirty million dollar uh, price tag looks like, and kind of the whole big picture where it fits into the whole big puzzle. So that's, exactly. uh, that helps us understand that uh, way way more. I love that. So. Um, real quick question for you, kind of okay. off topic. Just kind of get an update for everybody on how the budget process is going. Uh, can you kind of give us an update there? Oh, absolutely. Our subcommittee chairs are working great. The House subcommittee chairs, Chairman Wallace, and I are working great together. Uh, we are probably eighty percent in agreement on all of our numbers. Love it. And uh, even on some of the things how we're going to spend the money, uh, we are in agreement on the amount that we're going to use. And, and it's very public. I've been in the newspapers. Uh, whenever we look at a teacher pay raise, uh, the House and the governor are wanting to give the $1,200 pay raise. Right. Uh, the uh, Senate Republican caucus, we're not there. Uh, we'd rather put all of that into the formula. Right. However, the dollar amount we've agreed on. Yes, absolutely. How we spend that is what we're still talking about. So those are the details that are still being worked that, that's, out. That's correct. Got to. That, makes, that makes sense. So if we're, by putting that money in the formula, mm -hmm. that money could be used in different ways. Sure. Is that correct? Sure. They can give teacher raises with it. Right. If the local store board wants to do that, they can give support personnel raises. Right. They can buy textbooks. Uh, it becomes back to that local school board making that decision. So that's, that's something important to note because it's not like the Senate uh, GOP is saying, the Senate caucus is saying no to teacher raises. No, no, so no. We're just saying the put it in the, in the funding formula so that way each district can make up their mind where right. they need it. Right. And out of my district, and I've talked to a lot of teachers, I've only had one that's right. contacted me that says, we want the raise. Yeah. Everybody else says, put it in our classroom. Right. Help our kids. Reduce class size. And so I think we're on firm fairly in, uh, in the Senate. Love that. Love that. And as the budgeting process, we'll yeah. keep everybody updated. Absolutely. And we'll have more updates here in the next few weeks. So hang on tight, guys. Thank you for joining us this week. And Learn about the more about the CERB fund, the uh, the county improvement roads and bridges, and uh, learning how that works in the whole big picture of the budgeting process. Right. So, Senator, thank you so much for joining us. Once again, thanks for dropping yes, by. Sir, absolutely. All right. See you thank later. you guys so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.